Hello, hello, back at it again. We're actually going to be pulling out a bit of an older recording for today. This is going to be another recording from the Battle of Solomon situation battle we were doing, or the Nightmare at Solomon, I think technically was the actual title of it, which um, is a pretty old situation battle at this point. But this one, see this one, we had, uh, we had a different mobile suit. <laughs> So I didn't end up showing this one off. This is the, uh, I believe, the one raid of this team. And I, I actually forget which one it is, but it's the one with the big t heat tomahawk. So it was it was a really cool match to be in the one thing that has like a very different play style from the other suits on the Xeon side. Yeah, so it is a raid. I, I was right about that. Cool. I couldn't quite remember for certain because it was a while ago that I recorded this, and I don't actually use this suit normally. That is the one thing that is really cool about the situation battles, is I end up using a bunch of suits I normally wouldn't, and then having to, like, sort of not relearn the game, that's a bit too strong, but, like, learn... Learn suit, yeah, it's just being forced to learn a suit I normally wouldn't. Got completely surrounded there trying to pursue the support, all the rest of the enemy team just converged on me, which is kind of what happens unless you have an ally team that, like, is also playing really aggressive with you. It's one of the things that makes it really tricky sometimes for the raids to, to, to raid, really, is if you're going to just charge into an enemy formation, uh, you're going to die. <laughs> So if you're going to do that, you need a team that also, like, charges in with you so that you can just split through the team and deal with the supports while they flank in, like, push in, flank in, take out, or not even necessarily take out, but occupy the generals that you can push through. Um, otherwise, you have to play more opportunistic. And luckily, spawning in, we got a perfect opportunity to do exactly that, jumping right on top of the enemy. I need to figure out what kind of stun that he Tomahawk does. And we got ripped apart so quickly. As soon as we started fighting, they turned around and all jumped on top of me. That ended up not being a well-spent life either. I, I get the feeling that they really don't like me for some reason. We're going to try and get support fire, though. Hopefully that'll do something good here. Probably won't. Um, I've talked about how support fire tends to not hit. Well, it hits even less in space most of the time. I'm dropping down a time to try and make sure that I'm well out of the way of the support fire and ended up uh, being scary close to it, actually, which, man, looked really cool. But as predicted, it didn't actually hit anything. There's just more places to move to. You know, when you're fighting on ground, you're pretty much working on a 2D playing field right there's of course verticality to it managed to get a good opportunistic strike on that guy there he missed me with his downswing which means that we can turn around and fight him but instead we're choosing to pursue the enemy support what you'll notice too if you're paying attention the head vulcans on this thing are actually great for stunning so you can pull those out uh charge up into someone and I actually didn't expect that to be a kill. I didn't realize that did as much damage as it did, so that's very cool. But yeah, you can rip out the head Vulcans, charge down an enemy while firing them, get a stun. Wow, that does a lot. That's on a neutral swing, too. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, but understandably, when I can target enemies without having to charge through or without having to, if I can manage to target enemies that are not in the middle of their team so that I'm not charging headfirst into the entire enemy team, this thing does some scary stuff. Trying to doggedly pursue this guy here, we hit the shield with a swing, which meant we did not get any damage and just missed with that one there. But ultimately, we're at least keeping him on the ropes. I, I guess that counts for something. It would count for a lot more to actually you know, land a hit like that. You can see it still does really good damage against the generals, but not as much damage, understandably, as it does against supports. Trying to get that final hit with the machine guns, but could not stack enough damage. Maybe I should have moved in again, tried to get more Heat Hawk hits, but... 
was not thinking that at the time. My concern at the time was probably, I can't quite remember, of course, but probably, like, tackles, which they're not doing, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. Like, I don't think they've tried to tackle me once, which is probably a mistake, if I'm going to be completely honest. Tackle is good. Tackle is good. It's a lot harder to line up in space, for sure, but that's why it's actually very good, by the way, I've found to come in low. Because you can, with a lot, since a lot of, yeah, a lot of the neutral swings, I had to think about a lot of the neutral swings patterns for a second, but especially on the Xeon suits, a lot of those neutral swing, swings have a good amount of verticality to it. So if you're charging at their feet, swing low, and it goes like right over your head, got a really nice spur of the moment kill on that guy there. But yeah, you can swing over your head, catch their feet, but if they try and tackle, they'll typically go right over your head. Trying to stack on stuns while moving in, like I was talking about before, did not end up stunning him, but we did end up hitting him anyway. I think that's heavy stagger, too, on those, which is very cool. I might be mistaken about that. If it is, though, that's very cool. Oh, we got the stun on that well, that time, but his allies kept me from really being able to properly pursue. We're once again kind of in the middle of the entire group of enemies, so we're trying to kind of split off, find some new targets, something that requires me to be a bit less in the middle of an entire group of enemies. I didn't realize this thing had dodge roll. That's not the first time I did that, is it? Huh. But yeah, it did not end up helping. We ended up getting ripped apart. It looked like some of our allies either dropped back or got killed. Probably dropped back looking at how things currently are situated, which prevented me from properly following up and Well prevented me from being able to pull back and then fight alongside everyone. Yeah, very unfortunate. We're also uh, not doing that great I, I just looked up at the scoreboard. We've still got time Maybe We probably have to I think I think we still have time to pull this around, probably. Yeah, because we could potentially get a base bomb. This would actually probably be a really good... Well, I think actually now it's too late to get a base bomb. Right? Actually, it's like 30 seconds to... Pay. I gotta double check how base bombing works in terms of like how long it takes. This guy jumped out of his suit here, so we're gonna just try and finish off. I'm charging in to try and do whatever I can, because ultimately we are in a position where if we don't get kills, we lose, right? That's where it is. So, we've only got 30 minutes left, 30 seconds, excuse me, left. It is do or die time here. So, I'm moving in. I'm playing as aggressively as I can without, you know, getting myself absolutely obliterated. Now that my allies have moved in a little bit more as well, I'm trying to play as aggressively as possible, get these kills, try and push that score up in any way I can. And I'm doing okay at it. I'm pretty weakened at this point. So it is very possible that if I don't play my cards well, I will just end up having costed us too much anyway. But looks like we could not ultimately pull that score all the way back up, despite all of our combined efforts there at the end. Not really surprising. That was a huge gap to try and overcome. But I think I did decent. I think I did really bad at the start there. And that, I don't know that necessarily made us lose exactly. I'm not completely convinced that any one player can make you lose a match in its entirety. But it certainly didn't help. But yeah, that'll be that video for today. Thanks for tuning in. I I liked using it. At, once I started to get a flow for it, it was really good, felt really good. So I need to take this thing out on my own instead sometimes to ha have, have some more fun with it. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.